Google have an experimental note-taking app called Notebook LM. This app is AI powered and the idea is that you can use it to investigate and query documents and generate ideas from it. So in this video, we're gonna take a little bit of an exploration. I'm gonna put in my book, Atomic Note-Taking, and we're gonna see what it can produce by asking it questions from the book. Getting a feel for it, the idea is that you can load in your sources of information into a notebook and then use AI of some kind. So I have just gone in and uploaded my own book, Atomic Note Taking, and I'm going to start asking some questions about this uh, and see what it can do. So we're going to go explore what this thing is and how it works. So it's got a prompt down here. What are the benefits of a permanent note system and how does it differ from traditional note taking? Uh, how can the Zettelkasten method enhance critical thinking by facilitating the linking and questioning ideas? So, these, so it's read the content and it's come up with these suggestions. Can you explain how using a map of content as a tool? OK, let's just start. Um, what is the core concept about? Um, so let's get a feel for the high level um, understanding of what the book is about. Of course, I know what the book is about because I wrote it. Um, so if you are interested in note taking, then do check out my book, Atomic Note Taking, link in the description. So it says here, the core concept of this book is the Zettelkast note taking method, which uh, its author learned from a book, How to Take Smart Notes by Sonke Arendt, accurate. And this method involves breaking down knowledge into atomic notes, ideas that can uh, stand alone and linking them together uh, to create a web of understanding. Over time, this web can be used to generate new insights and ideas. Uh, can you uh, explain who should read the book? Let's see if it's got this right. So uh, I can use this as a way of understanding um, really what the AI thinks this book is about and who it is for. Let's see what it comes back with. Now, playing with this, I was hoping to load in um, all my notes from the book example, but uh, this tool didn't allow me to add markdown uh, files. I tried rename to text. I can't seem to pull them all in. So I think it's really better for big documents. Um, you can link, I presume, probably Google Docs, PDFs, things like that. But Atomic Notes, I'm not sure it has support for that at this stage. So what does it come back with? Uh, this book is for anyone who recognizes that information is only as useful as how you act on it. That is actually how I phrase that. Uh, it is for those who feel that the average, uh, the average is boring and there's a world of opportunity within arm's reach. It is for those who are up for a challenge and like to experiment to see what happens. I think that's accurate. This book is for students, teachers, entrepreneurs, programmers, content creators, and the curious, the autodidacts who just love following your curiosity. Uh, and have a deep gratitude for the wealth of knowledge lying beyond the horizon. Wow, um, that's amazing. That is quite accurate, and I probably wrote those words in some shape or form. Okay, uh, can you summarize the Zettelkasten method? So let's see what it comes back here. Um, this might be a good tool if you've got lots of information and you want to find where something was in there. So you can load in your books, which would be really good, and then ask it, where was that example about X, Y, Z, things like that. Um, so what does it come back? Can we summarize? So the Zettelkasten system uh, assists you in taking notes, organizing ideas, and making connections to foster original thought. It comprises writing atomic notes, expressing a single idea, and a workflow that guides you through uh, capture, understanding, organization, and insight development. Atomic notes allow for easy recall, updating, and linking. They are stored in a slipbox and organized using maps of content, MOC, to avoid rigid categorization. By linking ideas, users can spot patterns, insights, and questions, encouraging divergent thinking and emerging emergent knowledge within the system. Okay, let's challenge this a bit more. Let's ask it, uh, maybe, to give an example, can you give an example of an atomic note? So let's see if it's going to use a real example from the book or if it's pulled something from its um, its uh, model instead. Maybe we can play on this and see what it does. So an atomic uh, note expresses a single key idea and is written in a concise way, in concise and clear way. Here is an example. 
Title, critical thinking. Contents, critical thinking is about making informed and considered decisions by using objective analysis and evaluations. Right, great. Um, let's ask it. Um, uh, how would you cite a source for an atomic note? So this tool here might actually be really valuable if you, you know, once you've got the book and you read the book you can start asking questions in your own words and it might use that knowledge from the book and uh, teach it back to you so it says here to cite a source for an atomic note reference the literature note or notes that it was based on those literature notes will in turn have references to the original fleeting notes where they were, uh, they were based on. And ideally, the fleeting notes will reference the source material it was based on. This gives you a full audit trail of where your ideas originate from. That's exactly the method that I proposed in the book. So it is using that content. It's not, it's not interpreting it and making it up. It is using the content, which is good. If we click the citations and see what it does. So it's pulled out, uh, I presume that's the raw text version of the book. Um, Oh, it's just cited the uh, the book itself. What happens if I click? Okay, so it can go to the sections um, where it has been mentioned. Fantastic. Wow, this is actually quite impressive. So what else can we do with this? Well, what could we ask it? Um, so something a bit challenges, uh, a bit challenging. Um, I'm struggling to break my notes down to atomic notes. What can I do? Let's see how it reasons about this question. It's the kind of question I put in the q and I'm not sure if I, I might have actually put that question, so it, it will possibly do that. I need to now find something that hasn't been asked and answered in the book and then uh, take that further. So atomic notes, atomic note taking simplifies note breaking down by using a bottom-up approach instead of breaking down notes after creating longer ones start with atomic ideas to create a sequence i'm not sure that makes an awful lot of sense in my head um so i'm i'd take that i don't know i probably wouldn't pay too much attention to that additionally avoid creating large documents with subheadings use atomic parts to achieve zettelkasten's magic by linking notes together and thinking more deeply about individual parts. Here's how to create atomic notes. Okay, maybe the how-to bit is. Identify one key idea per note. This should be easy to understand, scannable, and relevant to your research. Avoid ambiguity, complicated language, and contradictions. Re rewrite notes in your own words. So this helps you better understand, consider the context of your notes. So I'm not sure this has really helped answer the question, to be honest. Um, I certainly wouldn't have answered that question in this way. Um, so can you give me an example of a few notes linked together in an atomic way? Let's see how it handles that. It's still been quite abstract. It hasn't really given me the step-by-step. -step. Identify one key idea per note. How do, you, how do you get to one key idea? What is one key idea? Things like that. Um, so an example here, so original source benefits and atomic note taking, literature note, atomic notes are key units of knowledge. Literature note, uh, benefits of atomic note taking, understanding material, connect ideas and think deeply. Permanent note, atomic notes enable deep thinking by breaking down concepts into the... So this kind of makes sense. You can see how those are atomically written. They're short, one idea per note. Yeah, fine, that makes some kind of sense. And of course, it's written that. That wasn't in the book itself. Okay, how do we how do we turn up the volume on this? How do we challenge this AI? Um, what is missing from the book that would help teach the Zettelkasten method better? So now I'm thinking, what is can it reason about where there's gaps? in its understanding. Really interesting. Let's see what it comes back with here. While it's doing that, let me think of my next one. Oh, no, it's come back. Uh, this book lacks examples of linked atomic notes to illustrate the practical application of the Zettelkasten method. Now, I disagree with that because <laughs> in the book, I do literally have all the examples of, you know, 
linked notes. So I can tell that it's struggled a little bit to comprehend that. But let's see what it says. It provides sources, it provides sources emphasize the provided sources emphasize the importance of atomic notes and linking them together with create a network of ideas. However, the book does not provide specific examples of how the notes are linked in practice. So I'm guessing it probably misinterpreted that part of the book, possibly because of the way the PDF formatted it. Um, I know the EPUB, those are actually images because of the, again, the formatting. Um, so yeah, maybe there's limitations in this. I do wonder if this is strictly multimodal, modal. So if there was a diagram in there, um, it would interpret what that is. I'm not sure how to, how to challenge that. So maybe I could say there is a picture. So on page 53, I have a picture up there. Let's see if it um, can tell me what that is. What is the image of on page 53? Let's see how smart it is in that sense. Um, because if you were reading something where there's data and graphs and that, it would be really good if it could understand that. I cannot answer your question about the image on page 53 as the provided text does not mention any images. So looking at the text only, and I suspect that might be because when you look at the sources, it I feel like it's stripped out the text. And I, su I suspect that is why it couldn't pick out the practical examples. Um, uh, let's think of one more and then we'll end the video. Um, uh, if I were to create an advert for the book, what would be a good script? Let's see how good it is at marketing. Um, because this is something I need to figure out and how to get the message for the book out there because it's been a labor of love. Um, uh, the feedback I've had from, from the hundreds of people who have purchased it from the waitlist and, and those who have found it has been fantastic. So um, let's see what it says. Unlock your potential with atomic note taking, the ultimate guide to the Zettelkasten method. Headline. Discover the secrets of effective knowledge management with our comprehensive guide to the Zettelkasten method. Body. Revolutionize your learning with a system that transforms raw information into brilliant ideas. Master the art of creating concise atomic notes that serve as building blocks for your thinking. Systematically connect and organize your notes, fostering creativity and deep understanding. Experience the benefits of a proven, trusted, no, Experience the benefits of a proven method trusted by countless scholars and thought leaders. Unleash your true potential as a deep thinker and effective communicator. With a call to action, order your copy of Atomic Note Taking today and embark on a journey of transformative learning and self-discovery. So if you haven't twigged, I'm actually marketing my book through teaching you about what Notebook LM is capable of. There are other examples in here which show you how you can organize your notes and then ask questions and build that up. So these are sources of notes. You can go into these, read more. Obviously the main proposition of this is the AI component. Really interesting. It's been a fun ride looking at, at my book, Atomic Note Taking. Um, interestingly, it looks like it hasn't captured what I, what I um, had asked it previously. That's a shame but it is experimental. I imagine they will be adding way more to this, but of course it is Google. We have to be mindful that if it doesn't seem to be moving a needle of some shape or form, they may uh, decide to shut down the project before it's really had time to, to be adopted by people. So um, it's only available in the US at the moment. Um, yes, I do have a British accent. Yes, I'm in the UK and yes, I am using a VPN because this is cool tech. I do not want to be left out of this. Thank you very much.